It's the lesson man, the lesson man, lesson for you and me, lesson, let's have some fun. Today's lesson of the day is spoons. Welcome back to another Lesson Man video. I'm here, uh, it's your boy Nate, and uh, today we're going to be learning about spoons. Now, spoons are a very difficult instrument. A lot of uh, musicians that uh, play the guitar, play the drums, play the harp. At one point in their life, they tried playing the spoons and failed, and that's why they play their instruments now. And that's just a normal thing that many musicians go through. In order to play the spoons, you gotta have great eye coordinate, eye hand coordination. You gotta have great thinking abilities. That's one of the key things: is thinking abilities. And you gotta be real quick with your hands. And you gotta have, you gotta be real strong upper body strength, chest. Neck, necker, neck region. You got a shoulder region. You have to have all that because you're con you're doing this motion. This takes this burns up your shoulder and your arm really quickly, so it takes a lot of strength. But the main thing is it takes a lot of thinking. So what I'm going to start off showing you, so you can any spoon players out there who are already advanced at playing spoon, I'm going to teach you how you can advanced to another more advanced level and you can make all the other spoon players look like fucking pussies so uh, I'm here to do that and I'm also here to get any beginners who are just getting into spoons to show you some rudimentary skills that you can use throughout your whole spooning career so here we go this is one of the one first things you want to do is it's all about your left or your off we call this your off spoon hand so your off spoon hand is going to be very flowant, okay? It's going to be flowing around like a river, and this is your spoon hand, which is going to be stabilized between your, and it's important between your knee and your, and the space. It's in the space between your knee and your flowing hand. So your off hand, your flowing hand, which we call it, the non-spoon flowing hand, is going to be here. And one of the main things you need to do is you got to be able to up down, up, down, up, down, up, down. That's the first thing you want to practice. Um, it takes takes quite a long time to get this. A lot of people screw up. They're, they're like, you know, they don't know what's going on. That's average. That's normal. So what you want to do is you want to get going. Practice this movement. You want to practice this movement like that, almost like a cry chopping something, but harder. So you're doing that, you're practicing that movement, and you're keeping your flowing hand right here. And so you're going to go up and down. And eventually, you'll be able to get a rhythm like me, like this. You get everyone dancing. That's a party starter. So, recap. Arm going up and down. And I'm going to just be frank. You need to definitely exercise your spoon hand. You need to make sure it's strong enough. You gotta be lifting weights continuously so you can get into that groove, so you can do the up and down motion. So once you got that down, you're gonna start doing more complex rhythmic patterns, okay? Many spoonists in the past have uh, completed huge rhythmic spoon patterns that I'm going to teach. So one rhythmic spoon pattern is, is f hand, knee, hand, knee, knee, hand, hand, okay? Now, I'm gonna, this is very, very, this is extremely advanced. Um, I'm just doing quick, going over what's going on in the spoon category. I want you guys to take it slow. Remember, practice that. If you want to step it up another level, this rhythm technique, so you go, hand, spoon, hand, knee, knee, spoon, hand, knee. So you go, it sounds a little like this. Once you get going, it's it's, uh, it's quite a treat for the ears. And see, I lashed out there with the flow in hand because 
oftentimes you need to push people back. Because if you're, if you're performing, people are going to crowd you, people are going to come up to you, people are going to want to touch your magical spoon hand, and you're going to want to push them away. So you go. So that's it. Um, that's it for the spoons for today. We'll continue the next spoon lesson. Um, till then, stay spooning. It's the lesson man, the lesson man. Lesson for you and me. Lesson, let's have some fun. Fresh.